<laughs> we have finally completed it, EUD2. The scientific formula to change anyone into an Ewok. <laughs> oh, hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Boy, have I got a fun one for you today. We're going to go all over the very unnoticed two novels written by Jude Watson. That's right, Jude Watson did two novels that no one talks about anymore. And they were called the Star Wars Scientific Adventures, or Science Adventures, I think. Adventures in Science, who cares? Uh, they were also written by K.D. Burkett, and I, nothing, I can't find anything about who K.T. Burkett is, but I'm almost sure that he or she is a uh, science expert because this book uh, combines Star Wars Expanded Universe with science. The first book is called Emergency and Escape Pod 4, and in this one it focuses on R2-D2 and C-3PO as they help escort Stuart Zizou, who is uh, the governor's son, who they are going to get relocated uh, on a post on Delatine. So R2 and uh, 3PO are enlisted by Leia to you know, help re uh, take their son to the planet, kind of protect him, keep him safe. Now they are accompanied by 4BX, this is Stuart droid. It's kind of like a teacher droid. And 4BX is a science droid. And he's going to teach Stuart science. And guess what, reader? You're coming along for this adventure and learning, too, because she's going to be teaching you science as well. Anyway, needless to say, they're all attacked and they have to crash land on the planet, which brings us to the second novel, which is Journey Across Planet X, where 3PO, 4BX, R2, and Stuart have to avoid all the dangers on this planet and make it long enough to get rescued by the rebels. Now, what happens next? I don't know, because it ended on a cliffhanger. Now, when these books came out, I was really shocked. I had no idea they were coming out. I was like, what is this? Science Adventures? Ooh, all I was thinking was more EU. And as I was reading it, Jude Watson can create a good storyline, but in the middle of it, there'd be this scientific diagram and explanation of what's going on, scientifically. Because remember, we're trying to educate children. This is scholastic books, after all. We need to uh, you know, educate our children while they read. This was a weird mesh. Now, I say weird, but you think about it. Science fiction, actual science combining together, I get it. This ain't no Star Trek novel, though. This is Star Wars and science, you know, crashing together like uh, two, you know, college kids playing chicken in office chairs. Y'all did that back in the day, right? No, but anyway, I, I was really disappointed when the series just ended. I guess it didn't sell at all, or maybe it's glass like, you know what, this was not a good idea. You know, let's not go any further in this. But I kind of wish they'd have finished the story off. Now, I came up with some fan fiction that kind of wrapped it up, and my little fan fiction, C-3PO and R2, kind of talk about how it ended, you know, how the science adventures ended. So just for me to give me peace of mind, I kind of wrapped that story up. But this is one of the, the stories that no one cares about that never got finished, that for me, it kind of bothers me that it didn't get finished. Sure, it was kind of cheesy with the science and the you know Star Wars, but it was still Expanded Universe, and I had to love it. Now, uh, should you get these? Probably not. They're, they're not that good, and they don't connect really to anything else within the expanded universe. I mean, it is Jude Watson, but even Jude Watson cannot make it interesting when you have these science lectures in between the chapters or in between the adventure. 4BX is the one who's explaining the scientific reasons of why this is happening and what the, why this would work and whatnot. Like I said, nice idea, weird idea. Actually, not a nice idea. Weird idea for me. I didn't get it. But I'm sure they're readily available and they should be cheap to get. I can't imagine these books being that much if you want to get them. But regardless of that, let's get back to my scientific formula that EU and I designed to change anyone into an Ewok. I, I wonder if... Can my dream come true? Let's find out. Oh man, this was not a good idea.